Blender 5.0, which is now in beta, brings interesting improvements to rendering, both in realism department and raw performance, which no one ever complained about getting more of. On the cycle side, subsurface scattering just got an accuracy boost. The principal shader's random all subsurface scattering now supports multiple scattering bounces, which means more realistic skin and translucent materials. You know, those murky dark patches will be reduced at the cost of a bit more render time. Another interesting update is the principal BSDF and metallic shader both now have a thin film option for iridescence. This simulates the rainbow sheen that you get on an oil slicks or soap bubbles due to a tiny film layers. The result is subtle on metals, but can produce gorgeous colored highlights, especially on different surfaces, which can instantly improve realism, for example for automotive shaders, and it has different applications in VFX. In this example, a metal surface with and without the new thin film effect. You can notice the iridescent rainbow tints on the one below. Cycles also changed how it handles volumes internally. Smoke and fire shaders now use nano VDB, I mean under the hood which will dramatically cut memory usage for different volumes, which is awesome for heavy simulations. But here's the thing. The trade-off is a slight speed hit, especially in some cases. But Blender also introduced a new null scattering volume sampler, which is unbiased and removes the old need to fiddle with step size settings. Essentially, volume rendering is now more physically correct and artifact-free, so you shouldn't see those blocky step artifacts in dense smoke anymore. But here's the interesting thing. If you prefer the old bias method, for speed or consistency with older files, there is a toggle that allows you to get it back. Another neat option for speed is that the hair and curves can be rendered as linear 3D curves, which approximates curves with straight segments. It is less accurate, but can significantly speed up hair renders when perfect smoothness isn't actually needed. On the EV and viewport side, Things are also leveling up. Blender 5.0 finalizes the transition to the new EV, replacing EV Next Preview from 4.x, and now it fully runs on the Vulkan backend. EV now supports HDR and wide gamut displays on Windows and Linux, I mean when using Vulkan. If you have an HDR monitor, you can get proper high dynamic range viewport feedback, which is huge for color accurate work. The viewport matcaps got an overhaul too. Blender added new matcaps and updated others to include a specular light layer. This means when you use matcap shading, you will see a nice specular highlight on objects, making the shape and materials read better, especially on dark surfaces. Workbench or solid viewport also improved how it draws curves and hair. There is a new cylinder mode for curve display, so strands can appear thicker and more realistic rather than flat ribbons. This is great for previewing hair grooming directly in the viewport. Eevee's lighting got a tiny fix for hair and curves too, which is an internal shadow bias to reduce self-shadowing glitches on hair strands. I also want to mention one more advanced viewport feature. Viewer layer overrides are now supported in Eevee. This means you can override materials and samples per view layer, similar to cycles, which is super useful for compositing different passes. All these improvements make Eevee more capable for look dev and even final rendering. And of course, Cycles and Eevee both drop support for really old GPUs. So Blender 5.0 right now needs at least a GPU with CUDA Compute 5.0, roughly a GeForce 900 series or newer, that is if you want to do GPU rendering. Also on a note side, Blender 5 has ended support for Intel Macs, focusing on Apple Silicon going forward. So for Mac users, you will need to be using M1 or M2 chips for rendering work in future versions. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.